I found a lump in my neck on the left side and when I was after exercising and I thought I don't have a lump on the right side so I better go and get it checked out and um, thinking it might just be a cyst or something and had numerous tests, CT scans and all sorts and biopsies and the biopsy came back on the 2nd of October 2020 um, saying it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, DLBCL, um, Docu's large B-cell lymphoma. I had no idea what it was and I, I never even really knew anything about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma before. Yep. And then I joined Lymphoma Australia and they send you out information about it. Um, and then I joined that site called Lymphoma Down Under. Um, and that's really helpful as well. Oh, no, I didn't really get upset. I only got upset when my second lot of treatment hadn't worked. That's when I really got upset. And I started what's called RCHOP um, chemo two weeks later, and that was six rounds every three weeks. And that finished in February. And then in February I had a PET scan, and the PET scan said um, it had... It had gone from my tummy and it had gone from one in my neck but the other one wasn't was four millimetres and they wanted it to be three millimetres. Then the hospital left me eight weeks with nothing and then they did another PET scan and in that time it grew from four millimetres to 20, to 20 millimetres and then they said, okay, we'll have to start something else now and then they started me on what was called auto stem cell transplant and they were going to... And I had all this, um, my husband had to inject me every day and then I went in hospital for five days and they took my, to see if I had enough um, stem cells and then I had them taken and stored and then I had more chemo and then went back in to have them back in and the doctor at the PA said we can't put them back in because it hasn't gone down by half and then I cried. I cried then really a lot because I thought, oh, not another treatment that hasn't worked. Um, yeah, it was very frustrating. And I have my daughter with me and I'm crying. And I actually said, I don't want to die. So I was very, that really upset me that time. And then the doctor at the hospital said, it's okay, we'll send you to the Royal Brisbane Hospital and see if you can be accept accepted for CAR T cell therapy. So... I went, I think, two weeks later to the Royal Brisbane and saw Dr Ashley Scott and he said he took all my notes and all my case and he had to put it before a board and the board had to accept me. I went in and I had a big tube in my neck here and they took the T-cells out and then they store them and they genetically modify them and make more and then they put them back into me in October last year and I was in hospital for 10 days and then in November I had a PET scan and it's all gone. So I'm in remission. Yeah. I would say that the CAR T cell therapy is well worth people doing it because I couldn't believe when I saw the scan results that it was gone in four weeks. I was in disbelief to start with because it just seemed too good to be true. Um, I have another PET scan in April, so I've had two more since then, but um, they're just going to keep checking. It really helped to talk to people going through the same thing. It was much more beneficial um, because you're all, you understand each other more because you're going through the same thing. I would suggest they joined Lymphoma Australia and got fact sheets from Lymphoma Australia and joined Lymphoma Down Under. I'm looking forward to living on the Sunshine Coast, which we'll be doing as of tomorrow. Um, and then our new grandchild and also going overseas in July. Yeah.